A Tale for Daisy Rabbit Daisy is sitting in a forest. Look, Stripe, I have lovely white and grey fur and two beautiful long ears. And see how shiny my eyes are? Hmm, but look how short and stubby your tail is. Look at my tail. It is long and nice. It helps me jump. I can wave it to show if I am happy or angry. Poor Daisy is sad. She does not like her tail at all. It is short and stubby. She cries. Other animals in the forest have lovely tails. Samli, the fox, has a long and bushy tail. Stripe, the tiger, has a long striped tail. His tail goes swish, swish when he walks. Jumpy has a long tail too. I do want a long tail. Poor Daisy. How sad she is. Jumpy, let's get her a new tail. A new tail? But how? Um, let's get a small piece of rope from the village. Good idea. We'll tie the rope around Daisy's short tail. It will hang behind her. They get a piece of rope and tie it around Daisy's tail. She now has a long tail. My tail is long now. And it really goes swish, swish when I wiggle my bottom. Thank you, Rook. Thank you, Jumpy. Both smile and wave. After a while, let me show off my new tail to everyone. She begins to hop and jump. Hop, jump, hop, jump, here I go. After a while, the sun sets. It is evening. I should go home now. Oh, my tail is caught in the bush. How will I go home now? Daisy pulls and pulls, but she cannot move. She is stuck. Oh, the rope is caught in the thorns. How I wish I did not have this tail. I could have run home, but I am stuck now. <laughs> Squeak hears Daisy cry. Oh dear, your tail is caught in the bush. Don't worry, Daisy. I'll cut the rope with my sharp teeth. Look, Daisy, you are free now. Run home. Thank you, Squeak. She happily hops back home. I don't want a long tail. My little tail is good enough for me.